So if we've just done that, then it should be in V0 right now. My general area of research is artificial intelligence, but one of my passions is games. One way to mix work and play, of course, is to choose game analysis, problems that naturally mesh with my research interests in artificial intelligence. This also makes it a lot more fun for the students. But really the substantive core of what we teach students is algorithmic thinking. I read about a dice game called Dudo. The goal was to find optimal gameplay for a bluffing dice game called Dudo. And Dudo originates in the Incan Empire. It's a Peruvian game. Um, it's very old, also very popular. Dudo actually is also featured in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, in the sequel to the first Pirates of the Caribbean. Four threes. Dudo. I realized that this would be a wonderful project to do with an undergrad since it would touch on topics from game theory to reinforcement learning and I knew I had to have both a computer scientist and a mathematician. We put together um, a Mellon grant proposal and before you know it we're doing research together the next summer. So basically I'm supposed to pick a five but it doesn't really matter. I always loved mathematics. Um, got introduced to computer science through my advisor, Todd. The first year I was here at Gettysburg, he suggested that since I liked both math and science, that maybe computer science was the thing for me. And it was. I loved it. She was tenacious. She would face difficulty after difficulty in the project with a positive attitude and with a determination that, yes, this can be solved. One of the things that I expected actually when I came here is to have a relationship like that with my advisor and to be able to go to him with anything that I need, whether it be with my computer science projects in one of his classes or just advice on anything. Research is a delightful thing. To have the freedom here to pursue curiosity, to always be learning, but it's that much more fun when you can bring a student along on the journey.